Hey everyone, it's Jason, and these are my top three cruise news stories of this past week. And the last story is highly upsetting. I think you guys are gonna be upset by it also. And really, it just boils down to greed. So cruise story number one, and this one is not one you hear quite often, is two passengers on Carnival are being accused by the FBI of stealing up to $13,000 in sculptures from a Carnival ship. So the story is, is that they were going from Baltimore to Bermuda. They had gotten back to Baltimore and the auctioneer noticed that two sculptures valued of $13,000 were missing. So they were able to figure out who these passengers were through security footage. They saw them take the uh, two sculptures and then they let the FBI know who did a raid on their homes and found the two missing sculptures. So we don't know quite yet what the FBI is going to charge them with. Obviously, they won't be sailing on a carnival ship anytime soon. So crazy story there. Not sure I've ever heard of anyone stealing $13,000 worth of artwork or sculptures from a cruise ship and that it wasn't noticed right away. It was like two days later. So crazy story there. So story number two, and this is Celebrity Cruises making some changes after guest feedback. So Laura Hodges Bethke, she's the CEO of Celebrity Cruises, took 19 of her people on her leadership team on the Celebrity Equinox. Now we were on the Equinox a couple weeks ago for the second time this year, and a lot of the crew members were talking about it. They were very excited about it. And I had a feeling something was going to happen. And so they announced this week that they are actually making changes to their dining room menus. They're bringing the classic portion back. They're actually adding more variety to their menu. And they will be adding a chocolate dessert each night to their menu. So well done, Celebrity Cruises. This was something that I had mentioned in all my uh, surveys that I thought the variety seemed to disappear in the last year or so on Celebrity Cruises. They heard their passengers, they went on a cruise ship for six days, and they got to see what that was all about, the guest feedback. I think this is amazing. This is why Celebrity Cruises, out of the mainstream cruise lines, is our cruise line of choice. So congratulations for that. Well done on Celebrity Cruises. Before I get to story number three, I would ask that you please like this video as it does help the channel grow. Also, consider subscribing as I do daily cruise news shorts and tips and tricks. I also do longer cruise videos on Saturdays and Sundays at 8 a.m. Thanks so much. So cruise story number three, and I have to say I'm a little disgusted and disappointed in Carnival Corporation, and I'm kind of disappointed that I didn't know this myself. So what happened was, is Carnival Magic was in Grand Turk. They had a temporary loss of power, and they had a accidental discharge of their scrubbers. Now, I had no idea what this was. It looked like a black oil substance, and a lot of people were upset by this. Passengers, uh, the crew, and people on the Grand Turk at the port. They did notify the port. They did start cleanup operations there at the port. Now, here's the interesting thing was, the only thing accidental about this was where it happened. This is something that they do. They discharge this at sea. So what these scrubbers are is in 2013, Carnival Corporation invested $500 million in these scrubbers to retrofit all their cruise ships. And what this allows them to do is use a cheaper fuel source. So that fuel source creates more soot. So these scrubbers clean the inside of the stacks with salt water and chemical. And then that's discharged at sea. According to the EPA, it is allowed. But here's the thing is, Carnival, you have to do better. You, the, you are a cruise line. You have to protect the ocean. So I'm disappointed, not only in them, but myself that didn't know about this. I have to say I was disgusted by it. And the interesting thing is, is there was an article in Alaska about the difference basically in the price. And as of 2019, it was 
$150,000 difference in fuel price that it would cost him for a week-long cruise. Doing the math to today's 2023, it would be about $200,000 or $45 per person. They made a billion dollars in profit. They're so willing to push any expenses off to us. I'm going to tell you this much right now. I would gladly pay the $45 per person if they choose to use a more expensive fuel that they didn't have to dump that crap in the ocean. Would love to know what you guys thought. Did you know about this? I didn't, unfortunately. If you know more about this scrubber situation, please feel free to comment in the section below. Would love to hear from you. I do appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much for the continued support. And until I talk to you next week, happy cruising.